Hello guys and welcome back to another mCrater slash Blockbench tutorial. So today what we're going to be looking at is how to create your own vehicle uh, with uh, entities and then we'll be using different uh, maps to actually get certain parts of the uh, vehicle all set up. So with that being said, uh, you will need for Forge a modded entity. This is going to be required for uh, basically building an entity. So you can't use any of the bedrock. So any custom animations are basically thrown out the window uh, with the forge, at least for now. Um, there might be some work on custom animations in the future. You can think you can use third party plugins right now, but the actual built in animations are very limited. So you will have to use the modded entity one regardless. Uh, Blockbench won't or bedrock won't actually work with the um, modded like with the uh, proper importing and stuff like that so you can just ignore these two right here just go with the modded entity and then you just want to create new model and then you want to give that model a unique name so for the file name as well as the ad ad model identifier name so make sure that it's not anything you've used in your mod already um, as far as the maps um, we covered this a little while ago, but uh, if you're using something like 1.12 or whatever, or something between 1.17 or 1.7 and 1.13, then you'd use this one. Uh, if you're using 1.14, then you'd use or 1.14, 1.15, or 1.16, you would use MCP for your compilers, uh, the export versions. And then you would basically for the 1.17 and up, so anything from uh, 1. Point, uh, I think right now we're at 1.19 for M Crater, so you would have 1.17, 1.18, or 1.19. You would just use the 1.17 exporter, the last one on the list. So we're going to use that one because that's what we're going to be using 1.19. So we're going to go ahead and just say uh, car for now and car. For the model identifier now obviously you want to make it a little bit more unique if you're going to use colors for your cars that you might want different colors or something like that if they're dyeable or something then you might want to add the color in for that as well the texture size we're not going to worry about right now um, everything else is pretty much set up so just hit confirm and then we're presented with an empty workspace so this is great um, what your seat position is going to be is exactly where your um, access point is so for example this is where our seat is going to be it's going to be debating where the actual um, location for your X and Z location is uh, you can only control the Y offset for the seat location though so when you're designing your car what you want to do is you want to keep in mind how many pixels tall your actual entity is and um, kind of give it a ballpark for um, basically how many pixels you have to offset it to put them into the seat. Now you have to go into negative values so they're not sitting on top of the car but in the car. So what I usually start doing is I just create a um, new cube and I usually start working on the floor of the vehicle. Uh, so there are a few different components that you probably want to take in consideration. Wheels, lights, windows, um, seats, things interior of the vehicle and stuff like that. Uh, when you're actually in first person, you're going to be seeing the stuff inside the vehicle. So try to keep in mind of where the head level and everything is going to be because that's going to be really important if something is obstructing the view then you're not going to be able to drive accurately so it's like that in real life too right so you just have to kind of make sure that everything is pretty much set up properly so with the other thing is um you can't actually have multiple seats with uh at least right now for vehicles or any entity so there's no point in actually designing something overly huge you can do it for extra detail if you wanted to but it's not really required so we're going to just start with uh, maybe an 8x8 wheel format so we'll do something like that and then we might want the wheels a little bit wider so maybe about that size and then we're going to put that somewhere around here. It doesn't matter right now at the moment where it's going to be. We're just going to be 
setting up the actual wheelbase. Now we're going to try to keep that unique uh, for where everything's going to be for um, pretty much even from the driver. You don't want it uh, too much from other sides and stuff like that because, well, depending if you have a long truck or something, but I mean, that looks pretty good. We might want to bring that one a little bit over. So, and then when, once we do that, we can just select both of them, duplicate them, and then we can just move them over to this side which is going to be basically where our actual system is for everything. So that will be the width of our car. Uh, you can go bigger, you can go smaller, it doesn't really matter. Just remember that this grid is exactly where your player is going to be sitting. If you want an extra, like a double seat, seats that don't actually um, have you know passengers, then you can maybe expand this out a little bit more and then you can have like a seat over here or whatever and maybe bring the back wheels up uh back wheels a little bit out a little bit further but um at the moment this is good uh we need to start figuring out the floor height now so if our wheels are eight we might want to bring the floor height right about the, about the middle so we're gonna have to start playing around with other shapes so we're gonna put in a, another cube uh, this might be a good time to say group these and just call these wheels. Uh, no other reason but just to make it a little bit easier to see things. So we're going to bring that down to about one. And actually our wheels are about eight. So we're going to leave that at two. And then we're going to bring that up to about the height of halfway. It looks about correct and then we're going to bring that uh, at the back of the vehicle now the little north part is where the player is going to be facing when they're riding the vehicle so keep in mind that they're going to be this way when they're driving not not that way so this will be at the back of the vehicle and what we want to do is we want to kind of create some foundation stuff so uh, for the wheels and stuff, we might have some axles. That's more realistic if you have axles. And then you might have your floor on top of that. So we're going to put some axles in. And that will be a good idea for that kind of thing. So, again, this is probably going to be a really longer video. I should probably say that at the beginning. So um, now we can kind of start putting our floors and stuff in for the vehicle. So um this doesn't really matter too much they're not probably going to be moving unless you want them to move and then you need to group them under a certain thing so they actually do rotate and stuff but and set up all the pivot points and stuff like that but you wanted a video on how to create a car and design it so i'm kind of doing that i'm not going to go into the technical details but um if you already know how to make things animated in amp creator then that's probably good and i'm pretty sure i covered it in the past so all right, so these are two axles. Uh, that's fine. We're going to just group those now and say, uh, let's call these axles. And then we can start working on their floor. So let's go ahead and add a new cube. And then we're gonna bring that up to about here. Bring that over. Okay, we need to go one more up. And then we'll drop that down one pixel. And we'll probably want this to go a little bit in the front of the vehicle as well. So probably about that way. And bring that there. And then we want to kind of have three of these, or three sections of these. Um, one at the back, one at the front, and one in the middle. So these will act as our floor and we can use the middle one to kind of bring it out a little bit and now you can kind of see that it's starting to take the shape of a car already right so that's basically the beginning of it and now we might want to adjust these shapes a little bit we might want to bring this up a little bit more so it's flush with the actual back of the vehicle and we might want to bring that up to the front so it's more actually at the right size of the vehicle as well so uh, when we start building on to the hood and stuff like that for the actual vehicle part we won't need to worry about you know having to put an extra block there or anything like that so the, the whole point is to keep the 
models as low as or the cubes as small as possible but still use as much space as you can um, as far as this part here for the side of the vehicle uh, that does lift over the side of the cube if we kind of look directly under it's kind of um, a little bit over on each side now that that will be good because the player is about a cube when they're sitting so we want to keep that in mind when we're actually building it right so other things you might want to take and consider is headlights and there's a few different ways you can do that but um, we're going to just add a new cube and we're going to bring that over here and we might want to go ahead and have a little bit more technical parts when we're designing this part for the headlights and stuff um, if we want to add glass between it then we could do that but we're going to need to design it in a little bit of a different fashion so we're going to bring that to about halfway uh, maybe a little bit for forward uh, we'll probably leave about two pixels for space maybe one pixel and then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring that all the way over and think yeah that's not high enough so what we're going to do is we're going to bring that up a little bit. I would say uh, six six pixels might be too high. So we'll go four pixels. Uh, depends on the how high the player sets. I think it's about half. Um, let's see if I can remember. The chest part is twelve pixels, and their head is about eight. But their head their eye level is about half of that. So I would say about fourteen pixels is about where eye height is so with that being said we have about two pixels there and then four pixels so that's six pixels so we might want to bring that a little bit higher we can always adjust it later too so we're going to have duplicate that and then we're going to bring this out and we're going to shrink that to one pixel and this is where it's going to get a little bit more complicated because we need to actually design the headlights and stuff so we're going to go ahead and bring this like that and then we're going to bring this over that way now we might want to have this brought out actually a little bit more because of the wheels so we're going to bring that out let's say maybe that much and then we have to take in consideration where our wheels are going to go so we'll um duplicate this and then we'll bring it out a little bit more and we'll bring that down four something like that and bring it that way this can also act as our bumper too so we can bring that out a little bit more and then we can bring this out about there yeah that will look good all right and then what we want to do is we want to um Go ahead and duplicate that, bring that to the front and shrink it a little bit. Now, depending where we want our lights, I figure we'll put them on the sides here. Most cars are on the sides, so we'll leave about three pixels that way and then we'll bring it out a little bit more, about one pixel. And as you can see, it's already starting to take shape, so that's great. Uh, we're also going to need a part for our windows for the lights if we want to add transparency then we're going to have to do that so we're going to just add a cube right here and a cube right on the other side one pixel cube and that will allow us to texture those parts with um, kind of like a transparent color and that will act kind of like a I don't know light system we could probably put the blinkers down there and then the lights above so that will work fine all right so we're going to make sure that these two are grouped under a different one so we can remember what's going to be transparent so i'm just going to call it transparent and then we can put that somewhere at the top so we remember what's going to be uh, transparent and stuff like that uh, this is all the framework so we're just going to call that frame and then what we're going to do is start working on the back of the vehicle so we want it about the same height for the back so we can just duplicate this and bring that all the way to the back here and we're also going to want that bumper as well so we're going to duplicate that and bring it all the way to the back 
And there we go. We got a back of the vehicle and the front of the vehicle. It's starting to take shape. Uh, we do need to add the windows still. So we can just actually duplicate these, bring them to the back of the vehicle. And then that will work just as well. So bring all three pieces to the back. And then we can align them up. So like that, and we'll line them up like that. And I think the other one was somewhere in the vehicle itself. Uh, let's see if we can't find it. There it is. Perfect. All right, so there's our back, there's our front, and now we just need to put the sides on and the uh, top of the roof. So we can actually duplicate this, and then we can kind of get a, a ballpark of where we're going to go. So if it's at... Uh, five for height, then we need to add about um, 12 plus 8, so uh, 20. So we're going to, oh, plus 5, so plus 5, so 25 as the location that we need it, so about here. And that should be where our entity will be sitting in. So we might want it a little bit higher just for some room for our head and stuff. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this out just a little bit so we can actually get the windows and stuff set up. So we probably don't need it too much. Just uh, one pixel. Uh, for the dash, though, we might want it a little bit for forward. And we could probably just leave the back one at the same height. So we're just going to bring that down again just to see where everything is aligned. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Bring it back up to 25. So 25, I might want to do 28 just for extra room. And then what we can do is we can start putting in the sides of the, the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and bring that down to about here. And we'll move that over and then we'll bring that all the way up to there so you can kind of see the sides are starting to fit in now and we'll bring that down so it matches the actual side of the, the the doors and stuff and then we can bring that over to the other side and you can kind of see that it's starting to take shape and now what we can do is we can start working on the actual windows themselves so for the windows uh, we want more transparency so we're going to just duplicate one of the transparency ones so it's under the same group and we're going to bring that to here we want just a single pane and we're going to bring it to about there so it's the width and we're going to bring it I would say maybe leave a couple spots open for framework so we can put some frames around it so something like that and then for the front we want probably something a little bit bigger so we want to make sure that's aligned with the front of the vehicle and we'll keep the top frame but we'll bring it down a little bit more so it's easier to see and for the sides uh, then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and duplicate this again and then we'll kind of bring that over and then we'll bring that down a little bit over to this side and then we'll bring it out that way so we want this uh pretty much at the front of the vehicle so we'll probably leave about okay that might be bring that out a little bit more and just trying to think of how I want the windows for this part to actually work because if I want two of them or not so we might want to do another one here something like that yeah that will work I guess so we'll just select these two and we'll duplicate them and then bring them over to the other side Okay, so those will be all our windows. Now we just need to fill in the framework between them so we can get the um, the vehicle pretty much set up. You might want to start working on the interior though. Uh, before you do that, you can disable certain parts like the windows and stuff like that. 
That's why groups are really handy. And then what you can do is you can start working on things like the wheel and adding, you know, little components to the car and stuff like that to make it look a little bit more uh, more unique. I'm not going to go it too in-depth, but this is basically how you're going to get your vehicle set up at the start. And... Um, as far as the framework, uh, we can just uh, add regular ones like this, and then we'll bring this down a little bit and square it off. So we want one pixel basically, and we're going to bring that into about there so it aligns with that. We might want to expand our window a little bit to match it a little bit more. So we want to bring that one pixel that way up a little bit and bring it down so it meets that. So that might be a little bit easier for the modeling. And then we can just kind of work our windows into that size. So might want to bring it all the way up like that. So that would be a little bit easier to work with. It uses less shapes. And then we can bring that over here. And there we go. We got the front part all set up. Uh, now what we want to do is kind of get the windows for the top part set up as well. So, you know, it's a little bit too tall. So I'm going to bring that down probably about that much. And we'll put another part in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this and bring that up. So we got that part and we're gonna kind of square it off so it's one pixel Whoop. and then we'll bring it all the way down there bring that one pixel over there we go we got that part done so now we can start working on the sides and the back so i'm gonna start working on just adding that side over and I'm just going to finish with the framework and then we'll start working on M creator. So um, hang in there and then we'll get with the texture and stuff like that. We'll map things out and I'll, I won't go into too much detail for the texturing. Obviously the more detail you add for the texturing, the better, but um, we will cover some different things with the textures when we're actually designing them, the, the transparency ones and stuff. So I'll cover that in a little bit. But um, what we need to do is just finish up the modeling and stuff like that. I probably already spent enough time doing it. But in short, what you want to do is just finish modeling and then we will go into the texturing. So I'll cut back in once I got the rest of it done. All right, so we got the framework done. Uh, this is basically the vehicle that we have. So everything looks pretty good. And what we need to do now is map everything. So we're going to go ahead and just create a template and then we're going to give it probably a little bit of padding so there is some space around it so it's easier to work with and then we probably want um the power of two and everything else so basically leave it the settings as as it is create a texture and then we should have our texture over on this side so that's great uh but um actually did i texture those those apparently are textured okay i think i know what what it did there so that's fine um basically the windows are one texture so it only basically did that one side so that's why the texturing is a little bit different so that's great um now we need to kind of figure out uh where our actual parts are located so obviously this is a window so that's a window down there uh, we're going to probably want to paint these different color so when we actually go ahead and create a map for them we can go ahead and do that so i'm just going to paint the car uh, for all the different cubes and stuff like that um, a solid red and maybe the wheels a black or something like that so we can kind of indicate where everything is and then we would probably go ahead and um, bring that into a paint program and texture that up properly um, but we want to make sure we know where all our parts are located so we're going to just basically texture these in a way that we can basically know where the shapes are and what ones are exposed 
so we can basically texture the ones that we need to. So those are the wheels. Uh, we might want to use gray for the little parts down here for the, what do you call it, um, axles, so we know where the axles are. And then we might want um, a lighter gray for underneath the vehicle, just so we know where it, what parts are underneath the vehicle. And then we want to kind of use uh, maybe a different color for bumper, so we'll go with white-ish kind of color. And then we can kind of figure out where the bumper is going to be uh, for both of these. So those are our bumpers, and then we're going to use just a solid color for our um, sides where we want them to be a solid color. So for example, these are all going to be solid colors here. And then what we want is to just kind of paint on to the vehicle. So we know where everything is, right? So it's going to take a lot more time to do this, uh, like actually texture it, obviously. But once we get this all set up, then we will be able to get things put in properly. So that all the framework, oh, that's a window. That one, this one, I think there's framework up there. Go. And up here. Okay, so that's basically our part where we want the textures for the car. Now, the other thing that we need to do is we need to select a transparency color. So I want to make sure that I know exactly what are transparent. So I'm going to paint all these ones um, kind of like a transparent color. I'm, that blue is actually on the other side, so we might want to hide some some of the things so we know which ones are which. Uh, that one's this side. So, uh, for example, uh, what we can do is we can go back into the edit mode, just hide the roof so we can see inside the vehicle. And you can see there's a lot of things that aren't painted in yet. So uh, what we will need to do is we need to go back to paint, and then we'll paint in the windows that we couldn't reach so those ones and you know just generally detailing your interior would be better too so try to keep that in mind when you're actually detailing it because you can kind of see the tires a little bit so you might want to fix that a little bit when you're doing that but uh, in short we just want red and then we'll start painting some of the interior blocks for the dash and stuff so we can kind of get an idea where all the ones with the red are located and then you would basically take this color and you would bring it into a paint program and then you would do more detail work on it and you would go back and forth between block bench and kind of get an idea where um, the parts are you might do some more detailing work and I can't really describe how to do that because every car is going to be different but this is basically what you'd end up doing. So now that we got that done, we can enable the roof again, and then we can, I don't know, do a window or something. And we'll just disable that so we can see in, and then we'll paint that, that color. Actually, you know what? I think we forgot the parts underneath the windows as well. So that's all those ones. So let's see. That one and that one. Perfect. All right, so that's good. Um, we can enable that window again, wherever it is. Transparency, there we go. So now that we got that part done, uh, we need to figure out uh, the windows for these. So we should actually indicate what the lights are going to be. So we're going to move this one a um, little bit forward. I'm still in the paint part. So we're moving that one forward a little bit so we can kind of see where everything's going to be located. You can see that some of the stuff is not painted properly. So we're going to just fi fix that up quickly. Uh, the yellow, we need to indicate that we're going to remove it. So we're going to remove that one for sure. 
and uh, probably that side. So we can remember that we need to remove those things. Um, so we could probably use a magenta color for that so we know more specifically. And this is supposed to be a transparent one. So what we would need to do is we would need to go and select the blue that we have and we're going to just paint bucket that onto these so we know which ones are going to be which. So this is where we're going to actually go ahead and use a different color so we can basically indicate for our headlights I think this is the front of the vehicle so yeah so we want our headlights to be probably about here and then we'll have like a orange color for our blinkers and then this will basically go over it so uh, we'll do that again for the other side so we'll bring that one out and we want to indicate certain parts so get the magenta color again just by selecting it and we'll paint that onto the bottoms as well so that one that one and the back piece and then we can just paint on our headlights now this is very basic obviously you want to take more time to actually detail your car and stuff like that so we're going to get the headlight color and we'll put that at the back here or the front pardon me so like that and then we'll get the blinker color and we'll probably want the this part right here to be the part because we're going to make those parts um not seeable for the part here so you can kind of see that the purple is going to match up with the side here so we want to make sure that the side of the vehicle is still seen all right so that part's done uh what we can do now is we can put those back into place so we'll just bring those like that and like that actually we'll leave one open because we still have the back blinkers to do so we'll bring this one out more and we'll bring that one out more and then we want a different color for red so i'm going to use like a burgundy kind of color for the back headlight and we'll go ahead with the paintbrush bring it down to about there so this will be our backlight and then this will be our other backlight so that'll be good and then we need the blinker color and this might be a little bit different shade when you're actually putting the color on to the vehicle so like with the transparency so depending what kind of hue you use for your transparency colors it might vary depending on the um, actual color that you're using so we're just going to paint these on like really quickly and then we can start using that transparency or the remove color the magenta to kind of fill in the other parts so want that one that one that one the bottoms and that side I think that's all the sides that we need perfect and we can put those back into place now so that part's pretty much done. Um, now we will need to go into an editor and crop out some of these things, but also keep them on a different map. So let's go ahead and just put all these pieces back into where they should be. And then we'll basically save this texture. Uh, we'll call it um, save as, and then we'll call it car, the same as our entity name and then what we can do is we can start cleaning that texture part up so now that that part's done uh, we can basically save this we'll need to save this so if m creator updates or at minecraft updates we might need to change the um the exporter version so we want to make sure that we keep this as a backup so we'll save this as a car model and uh, block bench model and we can now finally export this as a Java entity. So we'll save this and then we can close out of that. All right, so this part is basically the part where we're getting into the texturing and transparency parts. So 
It's a little bit different. Uh, we need to open it up with a paint program and then anything that we haven't basically painted, uh, we're going to need to remove. So we're gonna select a lower um, tolerance level and we're gonna just select all the green parts, yellow parts that we didn't add, the pink parts, the white parts. And I think there should be some black parts some places in here as well as well blue so all those colors basically have to be removed so we know that those are things that are actually being shown so that looks pretty good I don't think there's anything else so we're just going to delete all those and then we're left with our actual car location actually I missed one so we need to delete those as well so there we go all right, so those are the parts that we need. Uh, remember that blue is our transparency parts. So we're gonna use that as a separate map. So once we've done this, we're gonna save this and we're going to copy this file and we're gonna paste it and then we're gonna call it something like car transparent. And then we want one for our glow effect as well. So. I'll paste that in here and then we'll go car glow and we can start cleaning up these files a little bit further. So now we have these, we need to know what one we're gonna be using for the glow effect. So we just want the headlights for the glow effect. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much select everything and then deselect the actual light parts. Okay, let's see if I can do this properly. Uh, I'll just use a box tool and then we'll use the alt and then we'll just select these headlights so we can basically not delete these. And this will allow us to have like a glow effect for everything here. So as you can see, the headlights and everything stayed in the same place. That's perfect. So we're gonna save that. This will be our glow map. And then we need one for the transparency map. So we want to go ahead and basically select everything but the blue that we created. So everything, and then we're going to go Shift and Alt and then deselect or right click on the one that we don't want to delete. And that's the blue one. And then we're gonna delete everything else. And then we're left with the transparency parts. So we're gonna create a new layer for these ones and then we will probably go with like a light gray possibly or uh, let's see if we can get a little bit of a lighter gray. So maybe 75, maybe 80, 80. Yeah, 80 will probably be good. And then we wanna bring this down to maybe like 64 or something like that so we can actually see through it and uh, 64 there we go and then we're going to actually go back to our other map select all the blue so shift or was it control control shift uh, to select all the different types and then click on it and then we'll go back to our other layer and then we'll kind of paste it onto there now this doesn't actually look like it's very high so we're going to paste it over two times so like that, and that should be good. So that'll be about 128 for the color, and that should give us uh, some detail for that. Then we can just delete the blue one, and you can kind of see that there's like a transparency part on it. So we'll be using that for the windows. So we can save this one now. And now we just need to clean up the last part. So we need to clean up the blue. We don't need the blue in here anymore. And we don't need the purple because those we were we were going to remove the purple, remember? So we needed to remove that. And then we're left with our basic um, vehicle map and everything like that. So that's basically it. So we could just uh, save this and then we'll basically go ahead and we have our model, we have our glow map, we have our transparency map, and we have our actual car texture. So that's basically all we need. So we'll go into M Crater now and we'll just quick quickly make the car. So I'll cut back in when we have uh, M Crater all set up. 
All right, so now that we got that, we need to import our entity model or our textures. So we're gonna bring that into here. We're gonna select entity, and then we're gonna to go to our location where we have the files. We're gonna select all three files, bring them in, and then we can go and import our Java entity, and we're gonna select our car model. So we don't actually have any rotations for these set up, so we're just gonna save them with no rotations. And then we're going to go ahead and go to living entity we're going to call this car same as our model identifier name and then we can start uh, selecting some of these so we want model car that's the the model part won't actually show up for our car name this is the identifier name so our car will be named this not model car this is just the model name we don't need to worry about that and then we want our transparency part um <clears throat> uh set up for our transparency so let's see if we can't figure out the glow texture uh let's see i think there was a transparency texture one wasn't there glow <clears throat> Okay, we might need to test some stuff. I'm not sure about the transparency part. Uh, I thought it was uh, selecting like a texture that we could select, but i um, not sure how this actually works. So I'll have to play around with that. So we'll leave out the actual uh, texture, like the transparency part for now, but I might do an updated tutorial, but we can add our glow texture and our entity car texture for sure. Uh, this is a little bit different. I'm not sure with how this actually works. This is transparency, but it doesn't say that there is an actual transparency map. So it might just be the global transparency, how it's all set up. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, all right, so with that being said, Maybe we can't do Windows exactly the same way that we did. Um, we would have to add certain parts and stuff like that. So that's fine. We'll just leave uh, this part not uh, transparent. But it'll still work with the way that we have it set up for the glow and stuff. So you might want to add an egg. I'm just going to leave it in for now. Behavior, we want this to be creature. So things like iron golems and don't destroy our vehicle. And we want it writable, and we want to drive forward and backwards with it. And then we're going to need to figure out the height level for where we're going to be putting the player. So um, we need to know how high our entity actually is. So we're going to open up our model again. And we need to figure out from the top, so how many blocks up this is. So the easiest way to do that is just to create a quick model or cube and then we're going to bring it to the side here and we're just going to uh, bring this up to our roof so this will give us our size so it's 20 uh, nine blocks tall so that's a little bit of a odd number to work with uh, so we're gonna have to do some math each pixel is 0 0.625, so 0, 0.0, pardon me, 0, 0.625, and then we want to do 29, so times 29, and that will give us our entity height. So what we want to do from there is we want to adjust our actual hitbox for the uh, height of the entity, so this one right here. And that's going to be um, the value that you just typed in. So for me, it is um, 1.8, 1 1.8, and 1 to 5. So that's basically what the height level is. It's going to probably crop it so it's only three numbers. That's fine. And then we need to figure out where our seat level is from that. So we need to count how many how many things down we actually need to go until we reach the seat. 
if I remember correctly, we're just going to disable that so we can kind of see. It's going to be right where our floor is. So we want uh, to bring this part up to our floor. And that will give us our value that we need to decrease it by. So for example, um, 0 0.0625 times, and then we want 23. Uh, whoops, 0 0.065 times 23, and then that will be the level that we need to lower it at. So we can close that out, discard, and then we'll basically set our offset to negative 1, 4, 3, 7, 5. It's probably going to remove the 5. Okay, let's try that again. Negative one, four, three, seven. Oh, we might need point. That's right, point. All right, there we go. So that's basically where our entity is going to be sitting, is right on the floor there. And uh, we want the hitbox and everything. So this part's all set up. Um, now we can basically go ahead and go to. Uh, I think everything's here set up that we will need triggers. We don't want AI for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to just disable all that by dragging that part off. So it doesn't look around and stuff like that. And spawning, we don't want it to spawn. You would probably want to craft it up normally. Uh, so it doesn't actually generate. And for the other things, you might want to drop an item or something like that when it dies but pretty much everything else is set up. So we can just save this and then we'll go in game and we'll take a quick look. All right, so we'll be able to find the item under the creative tab for miscellaneous and then we can put that right here. And that's basically our vehicle. So you can kind of see that the, um, the lights are set up the way that they are. Uh, the blinkers actually, um, might be the same color with the glow map so you might want to adjust the orange a little bit so it's on a different hue just so it looks a little bit more natural so if we get in the car you can kind of see that we are looking out of it uh, you might want to add some texturing for the vehicle mm -hmm. so you can kind of see um, some glass texturing, you know, like how glass is actually designed. That would be a good replacement for the um, actual system for the transparency instead. So you'd basically just texture the glass over it. But uh, yeah, this is basically what it would, what it does. So you kind of drive around in it. If you press shift, you can kind of get out of it. So very simple system. Um, obviously, the double passenger isn't available because we don't have support for that in mcrater just yet hopefully they will add support for it for multiple sitting locations but uh, we need to have support for that first but yeah that's basically a dead car now so <laughs> all right that's always a thing. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.